Hello and welcome, or welcome back. Uh, my name is Simon, and I want to talk to you a little bit about my channel. This might be a little long, I might be rambling a lot, but, and I want to do this free form. Uh, it's not scripted or anything. I just want to tell you my thoughts, and I would really like your suggestion and your feedback on it. First of all, the objective of this channel, uh, why I made this channel. There's a lot of channel about retro gaming on YouTube, but most of them, at least in my experience, uh, usually uh, show playthrough uh, without any comments. Sometimes there is, but most of the time there's not, especially for really, really old games. Um, so I wanted to put some commentaries on some of those games, talk about it, talk about my experience when I was young playing them, or sometimes just trying out uh, an old game that I haven't played before or even maybe didn't even heard about. Uh, and this channel is made for people like me who like old uh, video games, retro gaming, uh, but maybe somebody who's not really into retro gaming, but just want to know what's this all about. So on my channel you'll see most of the time underground games, underdogs, uh, games that are underrated, that, that many people don't talk about. Um, you might find a couple of classics here and there. I, I like to play games like Metroid and Zelda every once in a while. They're still awesome games. The objective of this channel is not to put the 100th uh, playthrough of Zelda on YouTube, it's it's not really useful. I want to show games that <clears throat> most people don't know about. So um, welcome if you uh, haven't heard about my channel and please subscribe if this interests you. Um, the way I'm going to go about it, I started it already and you can see how it works. Everybody seems to be fine with that, uh, with that concept. How I do things is um, I like to play a lot of different games and it's kind of boring to subscribe to a channel or watch a channel and for two weeks or even a month is gonna play the same game that you might not be interested in. So uh, what I do here is I start a game on Monday and on Wednesdays of every week. So if you want to see a live stream, a live let's play, um, just go on Mixer, uh, Twitch um, or uh, YouTube. Uh, at about 8 p.m. Eastern time, Mondays and Wednesdays, and you should uh, you should see me live right there. And usually these shows um, last about one to two hours, um, so I could put the video on YouTube the next day, and people can watch it and not be bored for about five or six hours of gameplay. Um, so Mondays and Wednesdays I start new game. Usually these games, um, sometimes I will finish them, and sometimes I'll just play for about one to two hours, so you can see what the game is about. And if I don't feel that there's no reason um, to finish it, or I'm just not really that interested in finishing it, you can just try it yourself and finish it yourself. Other games that I really really like, um, old RPGs or games that are a little longer, and I, I'm. I have a kind of feeling that most people will not uh, seek out those games and won't play them. Uh, usually these I'll just finish them uh, till the end. Uh, I might just be interested in, fin in finishing the game because I like it. So uh, these longer playthroughs, these long plays, uh, just watch them if you want to. Just watch the first half to an hour to see if it interests you. If it interests you, uh, just watch the rest. And if it really interests you and you want to uh, have a, a conversation with me, um, just try to uh, to go on my one of my live stream while I'm streaming that game so we can talk about it. Um, I really like uh, streaming live. Um, I really want to focus on that. Um, most of the uh, playthroughs that I see on the internet, not only do they not have commentaries, but usually they're extremely edited. And that is frustrating for me because if I want to see somebody play um, like Ninja Gaiden 3, for example, um, I want to see his frustration. I want to see him um, having difficulty in some of the parts of the level. Usually the same parts that I'll have some difficulty and that you'll have some difficulty. So it's fun to see somebody else playing the game that he might be better than you or he might not be and you can see that he's uh, having trouble at the same places as you and if you're in the chat or uh, you can try to, uh, to help him out, try to help me out if I am stuck at, at a place, um, things like that. So my playthroughs are usually non-edited. The only reason I'm gonna edit um, some of the playthroughs is because I have a problem with the streaming software or something or the game. I might cut the part where I'm filling out with the with the options or trying to settle the stream because there's a problem with the internet or something like that. Talking about that, yesterday I I was streaming Duke Nukem, the first one, and I had a lot of trouble with the with my um, 
with my output. I was outputting and I've been doing that for about two weeks now um, to uh, uh, restream.io. So what that service does is completely free. Um, you send your feed there instead of uh, shooting it to YouTube or Mixer and they re rebroadcast it to YouTube, Mixer, um, Twitch, uh, Facebook, uh, name it. They're, they're all there. There's that's real cool, but yesterday they seemed to have a problem with their servers or their rebroadcast software or whatever. Um, their service was really running slow, so I had some trouble. Um, the reason I'm telling you that is because uh, if push come to shove and I have no choice but to stream at one platform, I was streaming on YouTube a couple of weeks ago before I, I tried to stream on, on three platforms at the same time just to, to uh, reach out to more people. People say to me, you should stream on Twitch. Uh, yeah, Twitch is so big. I mean, I'm into retro gaming and even people that have a lot of subs there that sometimes they do a retro game once a week, they're telling me that, oh my God, you're doing retro games. Good luck. Not many people watch that. I don't care. Um, I just want a couple of people. Uh, if eventually there's a hundred people watching me, I'll be completely ecstatic, but I don't think it'll happen. Uh, just a couple of people so I can get yeah, back and forth. And so people that are watching um, the recorded stream on YouTube, because most of the people will watch the recorded stream, um, I want them to have something to listen to, just not me uh, uh, just playing the game without really talking. So having somebody in the chat asking me question and going with a back and forth like that usually helps me to get my thoughts around what I think about the game or things like that. Mixer would be the primary streaming platform uh, if I have no choice, if there's still trouble with Restream.io, uh, I would stream directly to Mixer. I know it's not really the best idea, most of my subs are on YouTube. Um, so I might alienate them, um, I don't know if they're gonna follow. Um, not many people watch the live stream, so people that really want to, I guess they will, I hope so. Please tell me in the comments if there's anything that I'm talking about that makes sense or that doesn't make sense. Um, two new games, two new games a week, is it okay? Should I just do one? Um, should I slack on the playthrough? Maybe play not every night, just maybe two or three nights a week? Is it too much? I mean... Like I said before in my playthrough of Duke Nukem, for me there's never too much on the channel, unless it's just crappy uh, uh, content. Um, if there's a content uh, or a video or a series on the channel that you don't like, just don't watch it. Just don't watch it. Don't unsubscribe unless everything, nothing matters to you on the channel, and in that case I don't even know why you subscribe. Um, so yeah, Mixer would be the place. Uh, YouTube, YouTube would be my second choice and Twitch would be my third choice. Facebook is not really in the race. Um, just tell me which of the streaming software you would like, uh, streaming service you would like me to use. Or is the hour okay? If, if everything's okay. Please tell me if the channel is okay for you. Right now I have about... Uh, yesterday I picked up two new subscribers, thank you very much. Uh, I'm at 128 uh, subs right now, it's not extremely uh, big. Uh, but it's coming in at a good pace, I think. But what I need is uh, is people to talk about my channel because usually people that found me uh, really like, especially SNES Chronicles. Um, a lot of my effort go into that. Uh, doing playthroughs every night is not difficult. I do this for um, for my enjoyment, your enjoyments. It's easy. It's quick. Uh, I can put it on YouTube the next day. There's a little bit of editing uh, here and there, but it's not much work. I really like that. Um, I also like SNES Chronicles, but it's a lot more work. There's uh, research that goes in it, uh, recording the footage. I have to play the game for at least uh, five, to sometimes even ten hours, depending on the game. And sometimes it's really quick. Uh, I know already the game, so that's it. Uh, but sometimes I never even played the game or just heard about it or I haven't played in 20 years. So I have to play it a couple of hours and even sometimes be good at it because uh, doing a review of somebody who's not uh, really good at the game, it doesn't really show much. Uh, so that's about it. Yes, I, as I was saying, since I have no, not enough, not enough. I never have enough subs. Uh, since I don't have many subs, um, you might be uh, the person that el helps me build the channel. Um, what I mean by that is that tell me what you want to see, what kind of games you want to see, what kind of consoles you want to see. 
um, the hours that you want me to stream to. I mean, if everybody tells me stream at nine o'clock, uh, nine p.m., I'm gonna stream at nine p.m. So you have the chance, the chance right now because I'm still pretty, pretty uh, small, and I'll be small for at least a year or two. And you have the chance right now to uh, make the channel your own. I mean, tell me what you want, and unless it really clashes with with my vision of the channel, and there's a good chance I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Like I said, any suggestion on anything, anything. You have an idea? Just put it in the comment, please. I read all the comments, as you can see. Uh, if I put a thumbs up or a little heart on your comment, it means I read it. Um, and usually I reply. If I don't reply on your comments, it's because I have really nothing much to say. But, uh, I'm not gonna reply just to reply, just to put some words in there. If I have nothing to say, I have nothing to say. Um, I've said pretty much all I had to say in the playthrough of that game. Yeah, please subscribe or follow me on Facebook, Twitch, uh, Twitter. Facebook, Twitter will be my social networking, where I'll put uh, what I'm gonna play the next week, uh, if I'm doing a, a stream tonight, um, things like that. If I have a problem, I had a, a, pr a problem with my computer last week. Oh yeah, about that, I wanted to talk to about that. Uh, I'll come back to that. Twitter and Facebook, if you wanna know what's coming up. Uh, if you wanna really follow everything that's uh, on the channel, YouTube is the place. Uh, if you wanna watch live stream, Mixer is the place. Um, that's about it. I have a Discord channel also. I'll try to put it in the comment. It should be in the comment. Uh, just click on it. And if you don't know what Discord is, it's kind of a TeamSpeak and IRC merge into one Skype. It's all. It's a really great place to chat, um, voice chat or text chat. So I'm gonna try to use it a little more. But since there's not many people on it, I'm not really gonna use it. So it might be a place where I put everything in there so i have a thought i have an idea on a project i might put it on discord i'm not sure i'm gonna put it on twitter or something like that um i just wanted to put it on places that uh people that really follow what i'm doing and really are interested in what's coming up um, but not somebody who's on facebook and just want to see once in a while and just be bombarded with posts of uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the um, schedule of SNES Chronicles. I know most of you uh, are on the channel for SNES Chronicles. So SNES Chronicles would be every Friday. That's my objective. Um, I usually post them so they're, they, uh, they drop on the Friday morning. Uh, I also have the French version that I put out on Friday evening. So it, there's a little gap in there. I would prefer people to watch the English version. That's where my energy is. I do the French version just because it's not that difficult to do. It's not a lot more minutes or hours, but I'm saying that, but it kind of is. Sometimes I just want to finish the video and go on to the next one and I have to do the French version. So um, I know that I'm on the uh, English channel right now, so you might not just give a damn. Um, Please tell me in the comment if it interests you. Uh, I'm not gonna put this video on the French channel, uh, but if you see this and you watch the French channel, please tell me if, if it if it's really really uh, um, if I should continue with the French version. I want to, but at the same time I I have some time, but in a couple of weeks that might change. Um, yeah, Friday is SNES Chronicles. I do my best. So they come out every week, but um, I want to be professional on that. I know I'm not; it's not a job. I'm nothing is uh, is twisting my arm to do this. It's just something that I want to do. Um, uh, I feel more serious about doing it like that. And coming out every week and Mondays and Wednesdays for me is really. I want to do a live stream on Mondays and Wednesdays. Every Mondays and Wednesdays. I don't want to have a sub or a follower. That's like, oh, it's Wednesday, 8 p.m. Ah, oh, I'm gonna watch what Simon is playing, and oh, there's nothing. Oh. Um, it might happen. I mean, something might come up. I might have to go to the hospital for some reason. I might have a job. I might. Okay. So talking about the job, uh, right now I'm like in between jobs. Um, I won't go really into my personal life right now, um, but I, I have more time right now to uh, do these videos. But not that might change in a couple of weeks. Um, I don't think it's gonna drastically change and I'm just gonna be able to do one video a month but uh, I'm trying to pick up some speed on SNES Chronicles so I kind of have a backlog so if I have a problem with a week because my computer's down or any reason I can just put out the, the next video and 
just not be worried about oh there's not gonna be a video this week so uh if if i skip a week like last week i skipped a week um and this week there will be one next week there should be one uh but uh february and mars uh might be uh months that i'm gonna start my own uh, it business so i'm just gonna not gonna start on that um but it might take a little more of my, my time um i should be able between uh, jobs um to work on the videos and things like that so that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't think I forgot anything. Again, if you have any feedback, suggestion, anything, put it in the comments. If you have a YouTube channel that you've been running for a couple of years and you have uh, uh, insight on things like that, put it in the comments. If you're not uh, comfortable putting in the comments because it's too long, because there's not uh, technical stuff or things that you want, you don't want to uh, put in the wild, um, Talk to me on, on Discord, on Facebook, on, on Twitter, and I'll respond to anybody who asks me a question. Unless it's, it's really stupid, and even then, I think I'm gonna answer anyway. Uh, so that's about it. Again, I ramble a lot, I talk a lot. Um, the one thing that I really wanna work on is my uh, English. As you might imagine, I'm French Canadian. Je parle français, c'est ma langue natale. Uh, but uh, I'm still pretty good in English, I think. Um, I watch everything in English, I read in English, um, but I don't really talk in English. I haven't been talking in English for quite a while now. It's not something I do every day and I've been neglecting that for like 10 years, so my English is really, really, really bad, I know. Um, in my SNES Chronicles, I have the chance to uh, uh, retake lines if I have some trouble with the accent or a couple of words but when I do live stream uh, it might be difficult so um, I hope it doesn't bother you that I have some trouble sometimes some of the words and sometimes I was really concentrating on the game and I have to come up with with, with stuff to say or come up with with the I'm transla translating as I go in my head while I'm playing and <laughs> sometimes it's a little uh, crazy in there and uh, that's one of the reasons that I uh, do a short breaks about every hour. If I know the stream's gonna last like an hour and a half, I'm not gonna put a break after an hour, I'm gonna do the hour and a half, I'm gonna stop after there. But if I play like about two, three, or four hours, I'm gonna take a break at pretty much every hour just because I have a life, I have a family, I have things to check just to be sure everything's fine in the house and I uh, I need to take a break sometimes, I need to go to the toilet, etc. So I hope it doesn't bother anyone. I know that uh, usually streamers stream for like six hours without stopping, how they eat or how they go to the bathroom, I don't really care. That's not how I'm gonna run this unless people say, don't, no breaks for you. Okay, <laughs> so that's it. Uh, yeah, I now I think I've, I've passed through everything. So please follow me on Facebook, Twi Twitter, Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, Discord if you want to talk to me, and uh, there's player.me. I, 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 in Mixer there was player.me, it's a new social network, it's for gamers, so I tried it out. Uh, it's a lot of young people, so I might not be at my place there, but I don't care. I want to reach out to those people. There's a lot of young people that are discovering retro gaming right now, and they're completely crazy about it. And some of them just don't really care about the new games and just completely crazy about retro gaming. Um, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, it shows that uh, these old games really add something, and they... Uh, one of the, of the other things, some of the games that I choose is because usually it's because they're still playable today. That might not be the case for <laughs> MechWarrior 1 that I'm gonna play like Monday, next Monday. Um, some of the games are just really... they didn't age uh, well at all. Um, but I just want to show you by curiosity, it's just a, just to show you this is where we come from. <laughs> You'll never play this game, but it, it still exists. You still should be uh, aware that this exists. Uh, before there was a Duke Nukem 3D, there was a Duke Nukem 1 and 2. Before there was MechWarrior 2, 3, and 4, there was MechWarrior 1. Uh, before there was TIE Fighter, there was X-Wing. Um, there's a lot of things like that. Uh, most people don't even know that there was a Wolfenstein before Wolfenstein 3D. <laughs> so, 
uh, even I just uh, like recently about uh, 10 or 15 years ago uh, discovered that there was a, a Wolfenstein before Wolfenstein 3 I thought it was the first one so this is taking a lot of time and I hope you uh, you stay till the end so yeah follow me on everything share with your friends talk about my channel to people if you have a channel about retro gaming please contact me by discord facebook twitter i want to build a retro army i want to build a community of retro gamers streamers let's players reviewers viewers um and try to build a community around that I, there doesn't seem to be a place where you can go and uh the one place where you can go and you can find a lot of people uh streaming retro gaming or playing retro games uh, there's a lot of forums on the internet, but it's like one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Um, I have a lot of difficulty myself to find streamers, let's players, and reviewers of uh, these old games. Uh, once in a while I go on YouTube, retro gaming, old games, you Google old forums and things like that, and I have some trouble, so I want to try to build a community I don't know what's the best way would it be a website would it be a reddit would it be a Facebook group if you have any ideas put in the comments um, yeah so it'd be easier for people to talk about these games uh, what uh, emulation software should I use what's the best way to mod my console what are the best games on XY systems etc so yeah I need you <laughs> to be part of the ritual gaming army that's it that's it guys thank you for being there till the end of this video uh, I won't put these uh, like three times a month but once in a while it's important I think to tell me my thoughts tell me uh, what, what what's the objective of the channel uh, where you can reach me and I want to make it very clear to people that I'm a talkative kind of guy, but I want to talk about games. I'm not the YouTuber that puts on videos on the on YouTube and doesn't care about it and go do his, his other things. I care a lot about what I put on the internet. I care a lot about what you think about it. Um, yeah, if you have old games that I don't know about, I need to know about them. I need to know about all the games. My objective before dying is knowing about all the games. <laughs> I don't think it'll happen. But sometimes people are like, do you know about this game? I don't. Oh no. 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 I must know all the games. I must play all the games. So yeah, I played a lot of the games, by the way, uh, in my in my uh, old years. I'm 37 now. And I usually try to work it out so they play natively in Windows uh, uh, with DOSBox or something else. Maybe just in Windows like that. Uh, GOG.com, Steam are good places to buy your... Uh, your uh, good old games so yeah I don't know why I'm I'm still talking about this just end the fucking video <laughs> already so guys I love you guys remember to have some fun peace <laughs>